Well, with me now, our first goal scorer, Miles Hippolyte. What an afternoon, 3-0 here today to the Dons. That's such a good feeling, yeah? Yeah, fantastic. Um, buzzing, I'm happy, delighted. Um, delighted for the boys and I think all together, delighted for the fans. I think uh, that showed, you know, the spirit that we've got here and showed the togetherness of the fans and uh, what we demand of each other and what they demand of us as well and putting that all together was perfect today. I was saying to Matty Stevens, I mean, what kind of a game is that to play in as well, your first experience of it? Yeah, it was great. You know, I've, I've had the same kind of experiences uh, in, in Scotland with uh, Dunfermline and Falkirk um, and all these rivalries that we've had throughout the season, but there was nothing that's kind of matched that. Um, that was a great atmosphere to be in, a great game to be in. I think both sides showed a lot of quality, but we were we showed that we should be the better side um, in moments and in spells that we needed to. And like, I'm just delighted. I'm happy to get the result, and it's been fantastic for us. We kind of told behind the scenes in the build-up to this one. This one's different. It's a really good. Situation. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knew. Everyone knew knew what the task was at hand. I think throughout the week, everyone's been quite relaxed. Um, no one really took any pressure on their shoulders, or not. not staff definitely didn't. They just let us be us, ourselves, and we just knew the the severity of this game and what we needed to do, and we've come through with the win. And the goal itself as well for you. In the first half, there you really had to take advantage of that situation. Yeah, you? yeah. So I've <laughs> I've scored the harder one, and then and then the keeper saved the the. Well, in my height, it's the easier one. But um, yeah, just I delighted to get my first goal. It was it was over, a long time overdue. I felt, um, but finally got it, and it was the one to set us off and to get us in the in the right way. But first half again as well. I remember we spoke at Cheltenham. I think we set our stall out well. We looked well organised, didn't we? Yeah, no, very well organised again. I think um, the skipper plays a big part in that as well, throughout the middle, just uh, getting us into position. Um, but I think as a whole, we've got a lot of threats throughout, and we just need to keep keep turning out these performances. Obviously, it's early on in the season right now, but the you know the better we are, and the more we keep getting these results and getting more confident within this shape and within this team. I'm sure we can be a threat for this league. Second half at 1-0 though, there's always that risk, isn't it? You have to do that defending, there's a lot of pressure on us. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they came out and obviously you can see their intent to get a goal and we had to sit back a bit and just uh, deal with their waves of attack. But one thing that was always quite evident was every time they had a wave of attack, they left the space open for a counter. So it worked for us in our benefit and we've got the pace with certain players within the wider areas and through the middle to make them runs that can create them chances. And... As you saw, the two goals that we got after that from Maycock was, uh, was, was, was due to that. Um, so the boys have been brilliant and you know we stuck to the game plan and we got the result. That's Callum's first two goals in the Wimbledon shirt. Tell us a little bit about him because he's a quiet lad, I think. Callum's quiet, but he's quiet, to, he's quiet just as a personality. But if you see him in his football, he's loud, very loud in football. And he's a very uh, demanding boy of himself. And I, I like Cal so much, uh, me and him get on very well. I know he doesn't say much, but to me he says a lot and we talk about a lot of things with regards to football. Um, but ability-wise, uh, if you train with him every single day, you see how good he is and you see the stuff that he can do. Um, and like I said, I'm delighted for him to get the goal. We talk about it every single time before we warm up and we always say to each other, one of us is going to score, one of us is going to score. And today we were like, we're both confident that we're both of us were going to do it. And I'm just delighted for him to get his two goals. I've got on the score sheet and... I said, may more goals come from both of us. Well, you got sponsors man of the match today. What kind of a week has it been for you? Because you've been away on international. Yeah, it's been a tough week. Obviously, I've had I've had a lot go on behind the scenes um, without international as well. I've had some stuff on with family, so it's been a tough uh, it's been a tough month. But you know, you just got to deal with certain things, and um, that was a that was a result that meant a lot to me. Um, meant a lot for me getting the, getting my first goal as well. The international part traveling has been tough. I've been jet lagged for quite a while. My sleep hasn't been too great. Like before this game, I was up until two o'clock trying to get some sleep. But as I said, it's been it's been it's been a great experience. This is a this is the life that I've chose as well for football. So it's something that you just got to deal with, roll with the punches, and then just uh, try turn out results like that. And I'm just happy for it. And uh, hopefully, may more may more come. We should say about the other end as well, Owen Goodman now, that's three successive clean sheets, he's, he's bedding in well. Yeah, he's doing very well, Owen, you know, he, the keeper's job, I always say keeper's job is just to save goals, I don't care about anything else, as long as you just stop the ball from going in that net, and he's doing that brilliantly, um, he's been he's been class in games and he's made crucial moments, crucial moments for us, um, and he's making a good name for himself within the league and he's going to keep doing that, I'm very well sure. So look, Bradford next and then... 
can we actually think about Newcastle yet or is that at the back of the mind we can't even think about it? Personally I never really think about them games so far, I always take it one by one. Um, so the next game when he says Bradford, that's just us going up there and trying to get another good result um, and leaving there with three points hopefully. That's the demand of everyone in this squad uh, and the gaffer's demands. Um, further than that I never really look, look too much into it but obviously the atmosphere is going to be electric again for Newcastle at home. So. You know, you always got to look for the bigger picture, but the, our goal, and first and foremost, is always going to be to get promotion. Um, that's my goal here since I've joined, um, and that's all I really want to achieve. But, you know, take it game by game. We're in a great spot right now, and, you know, if we can hold this spot and keep pushing on and getting the results, even going on an unbeaten run, never know where we can end up uh, come the end of the season. But I'm, I'm confident that this is going to be a very good season. Absolutely, but this weekend we've got to enjoy this, and particularly this is one for the fans, isn't it? Definitely one for the fans, uh, and you can see the response that was there. Um, like I said, this game meant a lot to them, and with all that support that came out today, I would love for that to be the case every single week at home, and I think uh, we'll give out the same performances every single week as well. Um, and I've seen so far the support's been great, and I want that to continue for the whole season. Brilliant, Mars. Very well done tonight. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.